Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another video. So, I decided to um, do another takeover for uh, kind of more of a mid game account. So, similar to what I did in the past, just kind of did like a quick review. This time, I'm actually going to um, actually rebuild and take over this account as if I was actually playing it myself. Um, so, Big Joe here, he's um, part of my um, cluster, clan cluster. Uh, as an officer and uh, he's currently um, in a brutal nightmare clan so he's still working through the game he's level 69 and um, yeah I'm not too sure how long he's been in the game I know he's um, you know obviously a uh, um, um, he's a busy busy real life you know obviously person he has a family so he can't dedicate his full time to the game um, so I decided to help him out jump onto his account and uh, see what I can do for him um, let's take a quick look at uh, his account. So he's level 69. He's got no shards saved up. So okay, that's not great in terms of um, I'm not sure if he's a spender or not. It seems probably low spend, maybe maybe low spend at best. Um, so uh, he's got no shards saved up. Let's see his shop. Shop obviously maxed out. He's got some energy built up. He's got a lot of gems built up. Um, so that's kind of good if he wants to start actually building and using those resources. He's got the guardian ring filled out, which is good. Is his mind maxed out? It is. That's good. Um, not really much in terms of iron twins. That's to be expected for a mid game account. Um, is he working on his forge pass? I believe he is yeah I believe he's kept up that's been pretty good definitely keep up with those if you're free to play in your early game the forge pass is massive so make sure you guys collect everything there let's see the great hall all right so he's working on the arbiter arbiter uh, missions so he's working on it spirit accuracy makes sense that's good 100% win rate but um, pretty low amount of battles it's Friday, right? It's Saturday today. It's Saturday, so six days in. So he's definitely not even doing the the 10 per day. So he's definitely uh, got no time for this. But you, this is a huge um, thing to focus on, the arena team. Um, so I'll try to work on something for the arena for him. Um, let's see what his daily login rewards are. Okay, so he's, yeah, he's past physics. So he's past physics. Um, yeah, so definitely just a player. He's still stuck in the mid game, but it's probably just because of a lack of dedicated time um, for, you know, obviously doing things in the game. Um, Minotaur, yeah, kind of slow. Ice Golem, so Dungeon 20s, I guess. Fighter 18, so we can work on something for that, maybe. Dragon 20. Dragon 20 only. Yeah, the dungeon progression is definitely low. Fire Knight struggling here. 17. Sand Devils. Yeah, no point looking at Sand Devils. Okay, so now we have an idea. He's in a Nightmare and Brutal Clan, so let's see what he can hit here. Nightmare. Big Joe. He's 2 keying. Two King Nightmare, which is solid. He did. He looks like he did Helicath and Pythion. It's really, really good um, fusions to have done. He, it looks like he also did the Rat, which is also very good. He has Rhonda, excellent. Does he one key? Not yet. He hasn't used his keys yet for the day. Any Hydra? Probably not. All right. So we know. Okay, let's check out Faction Wars. Actually, is he even doing Faction Wars? Level 7 here. How far is he for Lydia? He's pretty far. Halfway? Ugh, halfway. Yeah, he looks like he's not very far in a lot of these. Um, a lot of these areas. I mean, you know, Lydia's... Um, Faction Wars is one of those things that you definitely need to start on early. So as early as possible, start on Faction Wars. Because you want to build up um, a good healthy dose of um, like stockpile of perception gear right because this, this is what you're looking for you're looking for this um, this gold piece gold bloodstone 
um, and to a lesser extent the uh, you know gold will stone or whatever um, but that's kind of what you're looking for so you want to get to like stage 13 because then you have a chance to get the legendary material and obviously four star glyphs five star glyphs uh, you want you want to get those resources as soon as possible so he's still working towards that so that's going to be um, definitely something that uh, we can focus on here so we kind of know like generally where his progression is so now we have an idea of what we need to do let's have a look at his champions um rank yeah okay so helicast fusion good python good like this is like pve carry here great deliana stultus ronda's good drang's good good fusion good epic uh roll guard kentum very good not geared yet and then he's got the rare the rare carries in the early game he's got sill which is dungeon carry he already has python so he probably doesn't need sill anymore but still does bring the aoe stun uh, he has UDK, which is insane. He has Theodore, which is set up for the late games. But early game, he's probably not going to be super great because you do need good gear on him. Uh, Rat's going to be good. Second Rat's good. And then after that, Madame's going to have some use as well. Yeah, after that, like, these champs definitely don't deserve to be 50, probably. This one's okay. KO doesn't need to be 50 anymore. I mean, for Faction Wars, I guess these are usable. Um, Sissia, I mean, it's great for Spider. Definitely can work something out here. Uko at 50. Second Death Knight, kind of unlucky. And then Artek. So, for any like mid game account, Artek is going to be like a massive champion. Like, he'll blow Ice Golem, Spider, Hydra, Waves. <laughs> like, he's just, he's going to be insane. But currently he has a bug that kind of misrepresents him a little bit. So I don't really want to commit anything to him right now until they fix this bug. Because you never know what other things they might fix. So if you start like investing, pouring books, start building them out, building teams around him, then it gets kind of messy, especially with like a, a younger account that has limited resources. All right, so let's jump into what the gearing looks like here. Sorry, uh, Pythion, uh, he's fast, he has accuracy, he's mastered up, and he's fully booked, pretty much, so that's good. Okay, Pythion, kind of slow, good health, War Master, maybe not the best choice, but it really depends, and he's fully booked. Besides the revive, this could be booked down to four turn for sure. It's worth it for Pythion. Okay, move on. Delian. It looks like Delian has been used quite a bit. Too slow. Way too slow. That's just the red flag there. Uh, yeah, this build just gets scrapped. 120 speed just gets scrapped. Deltis. Uh, he's capped. Has accuracy, which is fine. Yeah, it looks like serviceable build. Um, no masteries. The key masteries are the T6, the tier 6 masteries, so you definitely want to finish those off. Uh, Staltis is a great champion, but and this build looks fine. Uh, Rhonda, she's actually in Savage Cruel, missing a banner, and actually has pretty okay stats, like offensively, uh, and fully mastered. Um, Giant Slayer is more for clan boss, so if you want Helm Smasher, that's more for arena. You probably at this point you probably use Giant Slayer because you want to use her in all areas against bosses and stuff. Um, Rang, slow, no accuracy needed, good health, fine, no no master, uh, no masteries, only partially booked, which is not good to see. Rhonda is uh, missing the cooldowns, which is also not good to see. Stultus has no books. Yeah, so this is another problem with like mid game accounts is that you have. You know, usually you have tons of champions. You have way too much champions. And you just don't have the books for them. Unless you're a big spender, right? If you're a big spender, then you're going to have, you know, lots of champions, lots of books. But if you're just like a casual spender, and then you like obviously buy um, shards for fun, right? For entertainment. You're going to get champions. But you can never use the champions fully without books and 
you know, yes, you can use them without books, but to reach their potential, they will need books. So like, yes, Stultus is still a good nuker, but he's never going to nuke, you know, with this damage. He's never going to be able to control waves because his cooldowns are too long. Four and five turn instead of three and four turn. Um, similarly, like, Rang without books is, you know, he's not even going to be useful if his HP burn falls, up, like, doesn't land. It's only a 75% chance. So, you really need books on these champions. And it's a big problem for people that either spend casually for shards uh, or, you know, kind of are not too focused and um, with where they want to spend the books and then start spreading out the books a little bit too thin, right? So, still too slow, no need for crit rate, uh, not booked, okay. Martyr, not built, has masteries, four masters, good, not booked really uh yeah not good four turn and six turn cooldown so yeah the book's gonna kill you on these legendaries especially when you're starting out without ultra ultra nightmare so definitely clan boss is gonna be top priority here um i mean this ultimate death knight just kind of not super great anyways the ultimate death knight doesn't need books to start off um yeah, it looks like he's heading down to War Master. I don't know, not feeling it on this on this build. Like he has no healing. Uh, it's slow. It's not tanky enough. Um, yeah, it definitely needs help. Theodore, no accuracy. Like he's not going to be doing uh, not going to be doing much without the proper accuracy. I mean, 188 is okay, but uh, yeah. Rat, way too slow, has accuracy, way too slow though, no masteries, yeah it's a lot of work, um, Fane, actually is okay, He's she's okay, masteries, yeah I gotta work on masteries for sure, okay so, based on this roster, based on what I've seen, basically this guy needs to get to Ultra Nightmare, he needs to start farming up some books like he's gonna get about if you do double chest ultra nightmare you average about 10 to 12 books a month okay that's in, not including other content that you could do for books so on average you'd get about 10 books a month that helps that helps big time that means you can basically book out a champion a month and at the rate that joe is going at he probably only builds you know maybe one or two champions a month you know because he doesn't spend too much time in the game. Um, as long as he does his clan boss, which it seems like he's told me that he's actually pretty religious doing his clan boss. Um, he'll stack up those resources. He'll stack up shards, of course. And then, you know, <clears throat> maybe he'll, yeah, get some books. Like, Artek's going to need some books for sure. Like, he can work without books. But he's going to need these cooldowns booked down, right? Like, But he can work without books in the meantime. So there's going to be some priority choices here for books. Um, in terms of champions, I feel like the rat is like an insanely good uh, PvE champion, like bosses, all that stuff. Um, but he needs books because he doesn't have full chance to um, land any of this stuff. Like he needs this book down, even if we're not talking about the cooldowns, like four and five turns really bad. Um, but he needs this chance book down. And obviously chance here to increase his A1 to land bombs. So he's not going to be doing much without books. Um, he'll be much less effective. Um, so I'm looking at Fane and I'm like seeing, okay, Fane has to be, okay, she is fully booked. So this, this is it. So this is your, so in terms of, I'm thinking clan boss right now. So in terms of clan boss, Fane's going to be like a huge hit for mid game players because she's an epic. Um, she does take quite a bit of books, but she's an epic uh, she hits relatively hard. She has poisons. Um, she has the defense down and weaken in one package. One package. So she does quite a bit. The problem is that she's squishy. But if if she's in an unkillable team, she is good. So definitely Fane would go into a, a um, clan boss team. Um, and just like looking at which champions are booked and ready to go. I think Rhonda probably goes in because she's actually booked out. And mastered out that's the other thing so she's ready to go 
Vayne needs masteries down to Giant Slayer right away. That's the first thing. Um, so I'll definitely get him to run Minnow, get her in there overnight, and then uh, finish off the Giant Slayer. But it, she will still be effective in Clan Boss. So these two would be the DPS. Um, and then I would go with Hellcath, the block debuff. And I believe I get one more DPS. It might be Martyr. Uh, Martyr brings defense up, which will boost Hellcat's shield, which is needed to keep everybody keep the stun target alive. Um, and she's tanky; she can take the stun, so I think it might be her. Um, four turn cooldown. Probably just lock this off. Um, don't need to use this. So it's just a one, so it's at least decreased defense. X, she's like a backup, and then use the counter attack. Um, whenever, and then you might get some extra hits with a counter attack. Um, she is mastered, so she will do some extra damage with War Master, which helps. So I think Martyr, Fane, Rhonda will be the um, will be the um, champions for the clan boss team. Uh, my goal is to get him to Ultra Nightmare, maybe three key it with considering that the gear is not super good. Um, or it doesn't look very good so far um, That's probably what I'm gonna do uh, But let's take a quick look at the gear and uh, see what we're working with here uh, Yeah Oof. It seems like uh, some of these Seems like he doesn't, uh, he hasn't gear cleansed in a while. No speed. Uh, yeah. Seems like he hasn't gear cleansed in a while. And a lot of this gear is not rolled. So, yeah, there's definitely a lot of work here. Um, okay. Let's help this guy out. First things first, we do a quick H A D on the bottom row. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So there's a seldom reason to keep H. Seldom reason to keep the flat stats on a lot of the sets. Some sets you can warrant because if you're looking for a specific stat, like speed stat on a speed set, then yes, you can keep it. Hope to roll it, and you know. Do it that way or keep accuracy on perception or ac accuracy on accuracy set but for the most part these are all you don't even need to look at these um the other exception would be if you got um maybe like a six star legendary piece and you're trying to hit quad quad something on it quad speed quad crit rate um something like that um, and then you might be able to find a spot for it somewhere on somebody eventually one day. Um, like a quad speed will always be useful. Um, like for example, like this is six star, but it's this is total junk. Like what are you trying to hit, right? Provoke gear, like same idea. Like this one, like it's five star, so I'm not gonna bother. But like this is total junk. This junk. Yeah, just doing a quick little cleanup here. Uh, really sucks. I mean, for example, here, right? You can go, you can actually keep this and try to roll quad accuracy. If you roll quad accuracy on this, this you basically keep this forever because that's a ton of accuracy on just a boot. Yes, you lose speed, but not all champions need speed. Um, so there's different ways to build champion, right? So you can definitely keep this for now. Like this is total junk unless you want to glyph it up and this is well this is possible you can go quad speed right so i'll keep that and then these are just junk so yeah so instantly two mil I'm gonna do that help you out okay and then uh yeah we're gonna see what else we got whatever what other fun stuff oh my god <laughs> It's okay. Actually, it's not too bad. I thought it was going to be worse. It's just, you know, general maintenance of the account uh, needs to happen here. Um, 
yeah these five star rares they're just they're just rearing to go 300 of them like that's a third of his inventory okay i guess the other thing that i would do is let's see what six star gear he actually has 245 pieces so a quarter of his stash is six star gear which is obviously low but he's farming dungeon 20 so can't really fault him too much there that's nice to see some legendary pieces here uh no good that's a really bad one that's also a bad one didn't roll well not good i guess usable usable yeah, definitely not a savage set in this in uh, in Joe's account that's gonna be useful here. So we're just gonna look for broken sets most likely, and probably mix in some cruel. Um, I'm gonna roll up some of this gear, and uh, we'll uh, be right back. Wow, so I did some work rolling up some uh, some pieces here. Basically, like I would target uh, target the speed set, uh, perception set, and um, some of the other, I think, life uh, geared up some, rolled up some other pieces like crit, uh, crit damage gloves and speed boots and stuff. And then I was like, okay, now I can make some uh, viable builds. And then I, I see this green accessory. So I go into his accessories tab, and I'm like, okay, there's a lot of green stuff here. I'm like, wait a minute, wasn't he doing mid spiders? And then I look at. Um, defense and I'm like there's like where's his banners he has one banner and none of his look at these rings they're like they don't have a single defense roll on them <laughs> like all these rings okay first one this is the first one with defense roll even the one that he rolled up okay this one had it but it rolled bad so this is the next one okay that's just like okay these are so bad so i'm like this one has the hope i guess because it has hp but i guess you could hit these ones too anyways it's just kind of surprising i guess but this is like the gear that the mid mid game account would have uh and it makes sense um so definitely some more uh more rolling uh more gear management uh so i'm going to try to do some of this and i'll be right back okay so I did a little bit of um, some extra work rolling up some accessories for the clan boss team. So the clan boss team I have um, that I have in mind, like I mentioned, was Helicath, Pytheon, um, Rhonda, uh, Fane, and uh, Martyr. Um, just looking at his roster right now, his most important champion is probably going to be Pytheon for dungeon carries and then Rhonda. Or general nuke, AoE nukes, boss killing. Um, so it's good that they are part of the clan boss team. So we can build them pretty proper. Hopefully, we can build them like so that they work in other areas as well. Uh, so that's gonna be the goal because this account definitely is lacking um, gear, uh, rolled up gear, good gear. Um, it needs a lot of work just maintaining uh, just with a gear cleanse you could easily cleanse like half half the stash like half this half this would be instantly gone um never be rolled just gone and then this these accessories instantly gone like uh, a bunch of them probably like half of them at least even for mid-game accounts you wouldn't roll certain pieces and just it just takes up space um but yeah i'm gonna get um uh, building um and uh, we'll see what happens when uh, we get it all done. Let's be right back. All right, welcome back, guys. Okay, I just finished building the team. Um, and this is the team that I'm going to be using. So we got Helicath, 246. Bane, 176. Pytheon, 189. Rhonda, 176. Marta, 173. And this is the tune that um, I'm going to use. So the setup is pretty straightforward one turn delay on pytheon and the rest is just full auto so there's a couple things that happened when i was building um one i did the unthinkable i uh i uh bought masteries for fane 
which I've never done before. I've never bought a single mastery for any champion ever in these in this game. But I had to buy masteries on her because she was short accuracy because I don't have any spirit potions to ascend her fully. Um it's such a handicap and it's not open and I don't even know if I have a dungeon team capable of farming spirit. So I'm not even going to bother opening it and farming it. Um and plus it's it, uh, this account can only probably do level 15, which means it's going to take forever to farm the max spirit potions. And also, Martyr has the same problem. So she doesn't have an amulet or a banner. So to hit these stats, it's it's I have to sacrifice a lot. Um, I mean, I'm really handicapped on these builds. So anyways, I'll show you guys the builds real quick here. So Hellcath, he works, 246. He has accuracy for a weekend. Pytheon's just big meat stats. Just for HP, just for healing. Uh, Rhonda is actually in the best built, uh, best damage gear in on this account. So she's in, in the best damage build for this account. Um, and she has room to improve, like her amulets can be improved, can be rolled up a bit. So here we can roll it up right now. This is his only six star uh, amulet. Uh, the accessories were really hard to find anything usable, but trust me, these were the best that he had. Um, and he doesn't have an attack banner, so this is the best banner that we have with the uh, attack rolls on them. So, um, definitely uh, working with not much. Um, Martyr needs to be in lifesteal to recover from the stun. Uh, I try to jack up her HP. She has defense down, attack down. Um, she has enough to place defense down, so enough accuracy. So technically you could forego accuracy and just build more stats. That's probably something that we might have to do if um, if this doesn't work out. Um, but it's easy enough uh, to, to fix. And then Fane, Fane's built in full damage gear. Um, the thing is 181 accuracy is not enough for Ultra Nightmare. It's... It's probably going to be like a 50% um, rate to land poisons and debuffs. So it's really, really thin. I'm hoping... I mean, that's why I gave her Giant Slayer as well. So there's definitely room to improve. The good news is we do have a banner that works. The bad news is we don't have the Spirit Ascension po potions to make it work. So I'm pretty handicapped with this build. I'm going to see if it runs properly on Ultra Nightmare. And... Um, then we will run it on Nightmare and then we'll see what the results are because right now he can at best two key Nightmare. So I'm hoping this will one key Nightmare and I'm hoping this will at least three key Ultra Nightmare. But we're going to have to give it a go. And uh, I won't make you guys sit through it, but uh, we will do the presets here. here. So I'm going to make the team here. Um, we want Martyr in the lead. She's going to be the stun target. And then we want, uh, I guess, champions that don't matter to be stunned. So we're going to take uh, Bane. Bane's coming out now. Yep. Uh, Bane, Rhonda, Pythion, Helicath. Okay. And we got two Brimstones too. So the Brimstones would definitely be useful. Um, and the only is open with the A1. And that's it. And this one we don't need to use. Strengthen, right? Yeah. Don't need to use that one. Um, and I think that's it. Just double check the tune here. Mm. Yeah, so Pytheon cleanses after the speed debuff on Spirit. And then it should be good to go. Full um, debuff protection for the stun. Um, okay, should be okay. Let's see how it goes. Uh, okay. Oops, I'm using the wrong team. That's the team we want. Okay, that's the team we want to use. Resets, all good. Okay. Okay, let's see if it goes, and then uh, I won't make you guys watch the whole thing. It's on spirit, so let's see if it actually works. Ooh. 
weaken. Yeah, she's getting resisted already, so... That's kind of nice. The defense up goes up. Okay, so Pythion needs to cleanse right now. Okay, yeah, he does. Okay, so... My fear is that if Pythion still gets affected by the tick... Um... By the single tick of uh, spirit. Sometimes the tunes account for it, but uh, I've never done a tune like this before. So, uh, okay, so something feels a little funky there. Because then we took a hit without the unkillable. Maybe something is wrong already. Damage per turn is not super great. Looks like the stun targeting is also changing. Okay. Okay, so the shields are back up, so that's good. Okay. Yeah, Martyr's defense down A1 is really helping right now because Fane's if uh, Vayne doesn't have enough accuracy to land her stuff. Mainly just using her for Giant Slayer. Yeah, so stun targeting is on Pytheon right now. Okay, so far it's working. Alright, let's um, see how it goes. I'll see you guys at the end of the end of the run. So far damage is on pace for about 25 mil, so it looks like a 3 key is in range. Let's see what happens. I'll be right back. Alright guys, <clears throat> I think we're nearing the end of the run. Um, look at this. This is actually insane. Um, we're probably going to be really close to turn 50, but man, the damage is actually super insane. Um, like this is like the jankiest team but it it works i mean you got champs without full without full books without full ascensions without banners without amulets um you got like really um choppy gear but it's it's working right now and it looks like it's just going to be just enough to go maybe 50 turns but pytheon's going to go down here on the next stun most likely so let's see uh, him die. Oh, he made it. Oh my goodness, he made it to the end. This is it. This is it. We made it, guys. Turn 50. This is spirit. So Pythia is not the ideal spirit target for stun. Um, but the fact that he made it. This is full auto, by the way. So I had Pythion set up for the A1, full auto. There it is. Two key. Ultra Nightmare. Oh my god. That's unbelievable. Actually, I'm I'm like so amazed at uh, what just happened. Because, like, like I said, Martyr, Fane, like, they don't even have, like, amulets. Like, Fane has 180 accuracy against Ultra Nightmare. And, uh, I mean, good thing Martyr has the defense down on the A1. But... And I guess Brimstone helps a lot too. But man. Oh my god. I can't believe this guy went from 2 key Nightmare to 2 key Ultra Nightmare. And this run's only 12 minutes long? No, I can't believe that. It must be like way longer. Because I was pausing it in and out. I can't believe that. Like we might as well just run the full 2 key for him. Get him the, two key, get him the big chest. And then... Oh man, congratulations, like this is just insane. So much room for improvement. Um, Spirit is relatively okay, neutral-ish affinity for this clan boss. Oh man, but what an improvement, like just insane. I'll show you guys the champs again, like this is what I'm using, like Helicath, like look at the gear, like, like we got on this guy. <laughs> like this is it, like he has accuracy for he has accuracy for a weekend. He is fully booked, which is... Sorry, he's full mastery and fully booked, which is big plus. 
Pythion. Just some uh, just some HP. Um, he is fully booked outside of his uh, revive, and he has War Master, which is definitely helping. Like he pitched in about two million, so he is helping a little bit. Um, but his gear can definitely be improved. Um, and yeah, so Rhonda, Rhonda is the one that I focused uh, my builds, uh, my effort on to build properly and definitely the best gear and was the first champion that I built. So she is built, um, she is built properly and she has room for improvement as well. Like all these can be in upgraded, uh, to 16 if you wanted to giant slayer for obviously clan boss. Here's the masteries again. Um, and yeah, she was pumping. She was doing tons of damage, 12 mil, I think. Here's Martyr, she's in Lifesteal. She's going to be the usual stun target. And since she's the stun target, she needs ways to recover. So Pytheon's really good because Pytheon just goes A1 a bunch of times and then he can kind of recover, especially with high HP. Um, but Martyr might be a little bit different if she misses the War Master. Doesn't have great stats, doesn't have anything really, but she has accuracy to land the decre uh, decrease defense. And uh, you can easily... Um, get an amulet and the uh, banner for her to give her some more stats uh, more defense more damage or whatever but she was doing fine she did like five and a half damage herself but she does have brimstone so she's kind of here just for brimstone and for sure the counter attacks definitely help the whole team do more damage fane very good champion i do have a banner for her on this account ready to go um and she was doing tons of damage even with 180 accuracy she was landing quite a bit of uh, debuffs i was actually kind of curious because i was like oh is this nightmare i thought maybe i misclicked and i clicked nightmare um but uh it's not it was ultra nightmare and she was actually landing some stuff with 180 accuracy i did like i said i did spend gems to buy the giants uh buy the full scrolls into the giant slayer and obviously that contribute uh quite a bit to her overall damage but she was missing a lot of poisons and stuff so she has tons of damage there's tons of damage on the table for this team so and she's not even fully maxed she's level 46 so i'd say like this is a massive upgrade for for joe like his account just like went from like mid game into like here you go like let's go you get like access to ultra nightmare two two key ultra nightmare and it's spirit so we know it works on spirit so the speed debuff is cleansed off by Pytheon and we know it works so that's like that's it that's awesome um okay so in the meantime since I did break some champions I will have to rebuild some some of his teams um I think mainly I want to focus on getting him something that can farm arena um and then at that point um he can probably find some uh at that point we can probably like maybe revisit the account to do dungeon work because the clan boss uh, video is definitely very long um, but I don't want to leave him with nothing so I will re-gear a couple of champions for him just to get uh, things going a little bit better I took some gear from like Astralon and some of the other champions but we have to do some dungeon work on this account but that, maybe I'll leave that for another video but I think like for like a clan boss takeover I think this is a, a huge success a massive success so I'm going to run one more key just so it's not a fluke and then we'll give him, you know, a nice surprise in the morning with a nice juicy two key ultra nightmare first big chest. So uh, I'm going to jump into that. And then you know what's the best thing? It's freaking full auto. Let's go. Let's go full auto. All right. I'll see you guys at the end all right we're back during the end of the run looks like we secured that two key for joe so congratulations for him for the first ultra nightmare clear top chest for him this team's actually pretty remarkable it's actually very fast um i mean the runs are fast but obviously um it's not one key damage, but it's actually a very fast run. 11 minutes only, 37 million. We did 38 million in the first run. Uh, very similar numbers, so it looks very consistent. At least it wasn't a fluke. Full auto, click auto, go. Uh, really impressed with what we were able to do. Um, for Nightmare, there's a slightly different 
for Nightmare here. So it's slightly different. We need a delay on Hellcath, but then we also need a two turn delay on Pythion's uh, Cleanse, which unfortunately needs to be manualed. But uh, I'll give Joe the manual instructions and then he can carry on from there. I'm sure he'll be okay with that after getting the Ultra Nightmare chest. So let's hop in and uh, see what we can do to improve his arena team. So based on this, so we're going to use Rhonda as the nuker. Um, he doesn't have Arbiter. I think he's using High Katoon. You know, he cannot be using High Katoon because <laughs> High Katoon is uh, right now geared pretty badly. Uh, I guess he's just going to be traditional speed teams. He's in gold four, but you can be in gold four just killing uh, one man defenses. But I'm sure he doesn't have time to look for one man defenses all the time. Genbo? No, he's not, not geared at all. So it's going to be difficult to find like a usable go second team. Like it might have to be with Ultimate Death Knight, maybe. He has no stones stone skin gear so it might be something like one two three and nuker let me try something like that um all right let's try against this team we'll go second and let's try something like this okay let's see what happens here we're not going to be resisting anybody so Okay. All right, so we lost. <laughs> oh man, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. Get him back in the go four. Um. All right, let me think about this for a little bit. Okay, obviously you don't play this team against a strip team. Duh. Okay, let's try again. Um, no speed lead boost. He doesn't seem to have any CC, so we might be able to cut in with the Hellcath. Let's see what happens here. If we can cut in and place the block damage, then we're we're good. No, we don't. Feels bad, man. But at least we can revive. It's gonna be hard to keep Rhonda up. Uh, okay, let me think about this a little bit. Unbelievable, we actually won that match. Um, okay. Maybe this team works better against slow teams with no strip. It's gonna be kind of tough. Slow teams with no strip. I mean, these teams look kind of doable <laughs> okay let's try okay i think this team will work um as long as we can get the block yeah if we can get the block damage out then i think it can work and then python has the cleanse to cleanse any of this kind of debuff stuff yeah and then rodnik and nuke Like she's not she's not like in insane gear, but it's definitely the best damage gear on this account. So he has to pick his spots, right? I think this team works. Um like we can go in tough against this guy, but he has strip. This guy also has strip. This guy has strip too. Like maybe this, Cornelia. Cornelia has sleep. We can try. It's a slow team. So he has to fight against slow teams with no strip. That's going to be the key here. It kind of sucks, but he doesn't have a proper speed lead. Like he has Gembo, but uh, and his high cartoon is just not even close. So it's a uh, it's going to be a battle. <laughs> Gonna be a battle for for Joe, but it looks like we can at least beat some teams. There you go. Yeah. Go four. I think he can maybe sneak into goal five with this. Uh, 
All right. Should get this pretty quick here. Okay, nice. All right. All right, Joe. Let's use that for now. Um, all right. Let's see if there's any other one, if there's any other critical champion that needs to be built, that can be built properly. I mean, the roll guard definitely can be helpful. 300 accuracy doesn't make any sense. So, Staltus. Staltus with no books. Partial masteries. Partial masteries. But at least fully booked. The roll guard is at least going to be somewhat useful. Um, definitely helpful for Spider. He needs help in Spider. He has Sissia. Sissia is far from going to be able to do anything. Um, Theodore also very partially booked. Gonna have to think about this a little bit. I'll be right back. All right. So I just rebuilt a uh, roll guard for him. And then I ran a dragon 20, which is the highest dragon he's ran. And then I got this uh, new, new best time. Um, the RG is good. He can be glyphed up to be faster. Um, I mean, Pytheon is such a huge carry. Like he's an insane carry. So I can show you guys uh, roll guard that I just built. A little bit slow. He can be glyphed up. He literally has no good banner. Like this is the only banner with speed that was usable. Um, he has a resistance banner with more speed, but I'd rather just give him some defense so he can survive the waves. Um, yeah, this is about it. Like if you can get accuracy, that's a luxury, but we couldn't get it on him. Uh, and yeah, he's not fully jacked up or anything like that. So he's just ready to go. He needs full masteries too. So you can add an extra 20 from flawless execution if when he gets there. Um, but yeah, I think, um, for that, so he's got dragon on farm. So that means he at least has gear coming in. So that's huge. I, I want to get something going on for spider, but I feel like we wait for the r -tac fix. So I'm not going to do anything for spider right now for him. We're going to wait for the r -tac fix. He needs this cold heart. Like now he needs this cold heart now. So ice golem and fire knight, I think we'd put down the back burner until we get the, First of all, Cold Heart can do Fire Knight, and then uh, Ice Golem is just not going to be a popular dungeon for him, uh, especially in the early game or mid game. So let's see next steps. So next steps, uh, number one, I need to. You need to focus on something. So right now, you need to focus on booking, booking down certain champions that are going to be like critically useful to you. So. First of all, you need to get the spirit ascensions for your clan boss team to make them fully usable. I mean, right now they're fully fine, so maybe you don't want to do that. Um, I, you know, you, you're going to be farming Ultra Nightmare now, so you're going to be stacking up some books. Make sure you save the books until you know which champion you want to book. Because right now you have books spread across several legendary champions, and that's not doing anybody any good. Um, I would also fully ascend your death knight and then rebuild him properly um, And then after that your next champions to 60 would probably be cold heart Uko is pretty good carry for Hydra uh, When you get there uh, or doom tower waves. He's actually a pretty good carry too um, And then I would look into some spider teams with Sissia Sissia spider teams are very very nice and of course our attack our is going to be the wild card because we don't know what's going to happen to him so definitely just keep an eye on these things but in the meantime farm masteries fill up the masteries on some of these champions like roll guard he needs them um i bought fane else helicath is fine rondo is fine oh yeah like put masteries on the rat these guys deserve masteries to to perform well, right? Like Theodore, you know, finish the masteries on some of these guys, right? Ultimate Death Knight. So, anyways, I hope that was useful for people watching. I mean, the clan boss run was an incredible success. So, you know, I'm sure Joe would be very happy. And there's a lot of work on this account. It would literally take like many, many, many work hours to properly 
get this account up and running but he has a lot of resources um and he has decent champions to work with for level 69 he has tons of champions to work with he already has a sissia cold heart he's ready for spider he has the rat he's ready for doom tower bosses so he has to work on faction wars there's a lot of things to work on and he does have energy which is a really good thing uh, he has brews no books he has chickens so it's just a matter of time right so he has, he has to invest some time into doing the right things and then uh, this account will definitely uh, definitely do well so anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed the video let me know uh, what you guys think uh, let me know what I could have done better or if you guys could have done differently and if you guys actually like this type of content like I'm you know trying to be a bit more generalist I know my like audience isn't like always platinum or like you know top 1000 top 500 you know arena players so and not super end game so i want to cater to uh, more people and especially like free to play low spend because that's kind of like my mindset so i definitely want to uh, provide my perspective on that as well and i you know obviously i, I want to show myself that i can still build an account a low end account or a lower uh sorry level account uh up properly so it's, it was fun, fun for me. Hopefully it was fun for you guys. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.